This is a short cinematic video I made using a real footage and an AI. I am Robel, welcome back to this channel. This is where we cover some cinematic stuff and filmmaking techniques. So today I'm going to show you how to incorporate this AI stuff into some real footage. I've done this uh, using a couple of projects. This is one of them. And today we're just going to break it down and show you guys how to make this. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. So the first step is getting this shots. So you can get the shots just by walking around and outside using the tripod. And it's also good to take some walk and get off your computer sometimes. And the second thing is after you get these shots while walking and with some weird building structures or into some walls, and then you can use this generative AI to extend these images and then add it into Premiere Pro to create this a whole new environment. And your imagination will take you to a lot of places using AI. You can add buildings, you can add columns, you can add, you, it can make it a whole different place or location that you want. So today we're going to cover this and I've got my footage and then I will show you how to add it into the real footage and using AI. Okay. Now here, the first thing we're going to do is import our clip into Premiere Pro. And we have it like this. And also segment it to the amount of the footage you want to insert in your video. And after that, we just have to export one frame into Photoshop. So the way we're going to do it is select your clip and choose the which frame you want. Let's say in the middle somewhere here. And then I'm going to press this export frame. And if you can't find it, make sure you can press this plus sign here and you can find it here and just drag and drop it here and you can find this button. Or if you can't find it, just control shift E would just export this frame. So just press on it and make sure it's on PNG format. And after that, browse wherever you want to put your image. And then we don't want to import it into our project. So just press Okay, here in Photoshop, we have this frame and we just gonna zoom out a little bit so that we have more. If you're enjoying this video, consider supporting me on Patreon. You'll get exclusive project files, bonus content, and help me keep creating more videos for you. The link is in the description. Room to expand it and also just having a bird's eye view. And I'm going to press C for the crop or you can find it here. And after you get the scope, make sure you're on 16 by 19, or if you're using a vertical, make sure the dimension are right. And just press Alt and try to make your crop as big as you can. And then after you do that, just let it go and try to adjust your image also, make it try to be in the center. And after you do that, just press on Generative Expand. And here is the coolest part. So we can prompt this to create whatever we want to see on the rest of this canvas. So let's say I want some brutalistic architecture buildings. And so let's just type it there. So I'm going to write brutalist, arch brutalist architecture buildings. So we can just press generate and let Photoshop do its thing. And it will going to, it's going to generate for us an image with our prompt. And let's see what it comes up with. And we can also tweak it a little bit further to our liking. Okay. As you can see, it's not giving me like the right type of image that I want. So let's generate even more variations. So I'm going to generate again. I think I like this more, but we can tweak it furthermore. For example, I can try to select half of this building. Let's say, not building, but I don't like the structures. As you can see, they don't have any details. So I'm going to prompt it again to change this side of the image. So we're going to prompt it here to be, again, some brutalistic architecture. So. And I'm also going to generate furthermore to like get the right type of image that I want. Okay, let's prompt again. I'm going to 
select the lasso tool and also change this into again some brutalist architecture and let's just see what it comes up again as well i like this part and also we can add some columns here so i'm going to just select furthermore some part of it like this and uh, we can try to prompt something like monolithic forms and let's see what it comes up with again oh yep these look much better i like it and let's try to add on this side as well this monolith forms and each just the main thing here is try trying to play around with the image and see what works and what doesn't and obviously it could give you a variety type of images but choosing the right one and that fits the vibe is just it and i also want to change this top of the building so i'm going to generate even more variation of the top of the building and let's see what it sounds again yep now i like it because now it's much bigger and like a sky tower type of thing so that's what we want we extended it and yeah i'm not really a fan of this side of the building so i'm just completely want to raise it maybe or just let me see if there is different type of variation and i'm just trying to prompt that okay i want this variation but i want more let's see what it comes up but these this is more, much more interesting than the previous one i think okay Ooh, i think i i think we got the winner here this one is much cooler i really like it and yeah we just can add also something on the foreground okay this is much better i like it and we're going to also add something here like a concrete let's say chair or something let's see now these look too weird i mean it doesn't fit to the whole vibe so i'm just going to delete it and i will try to prompt again with the monolith forms because just this one this concrete thing looks cool and maybe it will create another variation here so okay this one is better so i'm just i think now i kind of finished what prompting what i want and it already looks really cool so i'm going to just take this image into pre premiere pro and try to stick the video into it so i'm just going to go to file and export and export as i'm going to export it as a png and just export it to somewhere let's say here perfect and now let's close off photoshop and let's go to premiere pro and let's try to import our new image and i'm going to import it something like this and take it here and now what we want to do is select the image go to effect controls and try to scale it down as much as you can till you till you feel the whole frame like let's say now it's on 45 something like this would work so okay so just make sure you got the number the scale number that that it fits in the frame and once we do that i'm going to turn this off and also take this image i uh, know the video we had previously this one this one and what i'm going to do is put the scale to 45 on the video again and here i'm going to turn it back on and also reduce the opacity as much as possible so let's say i'm going to zoom in a little bit and i will try to match the image as much as i can so i make sure to select the video and just make the video match as close as possible and i'm trying to match the buildings yep now it's perfect everything fits and the next step was going to be just turn on the full opacity on the on the image layer and now let's go to masking so just select your picture and go to this effect controls and the, we try you're gonna try to mask it out so just select the part of the video that you want to select and i'm going to make some rectangles and i'm also going to invert the 
a selection and also take this a little bit down something like this and I'm also increase going to increase the feather to let's say 50 pixels so that it blends with our environment and now as you can see it's just normal video let's go back into our full view and let's check it this is really cool so we've done it like we replaced this full background we changed it from this to this and it have a lot of difference and one thing we may kind of want to add is a color grading and I already made some presets so I'm just going to put on it and if you want to know how I color grade my videos I'm going to put the card up above here and go out there and check out the video and also I use Dehancer Pro so if you want 10% off on Dehancer it's one of the best film plugins and you can add bloom or halation and grains on your footage really easily I'll put the description down below also so that you can get 10% off. So yeah, just put your color grading on it. And once you put on it, it will look like a proper film. And yeah, this is how you can change a normal footage from basic shots from tripod to something out of this world, make it look like a sci-fi movie. So yeah, this is how you're going to create it. And one thing also I might add is you can nest this, all of these. Let's say you can nest them, let's say test one. And if you add a camera movement to them, let's say with a scale and position, let's make a keyframe on the effect controls and let's make the scale to be, let's say 120 and the position will be somewhere, something like this. And this will give the film that it's like handheld and it's not moving. So it's really cool that uh, you can add a little bit of subtle of uh, camera movements and that would make it even more realistic that the environment is actually there, not just a fake image. It is fake, but it's not. Well, if this is for it for today and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you got some value out of it and you like what I do just make sure to subscribe and like the video and yeah support brother out in making videos like this and I can get you more values in the future as well so without further ado not without further ado just bye and thank you